Hi friends, welcome to Nat Back and Nessa's Nook. So today I'm running a whole bunch of videos like I do normally on a Sunday. And um, I picked up a whole bunch of meat that was on sale yesterday. So you're going to see quite a few different videos. And we picked up 15 pounds of the hamburger. I had made um, a batch of uh, some uh, Mexican meatloaf. And then I am going to show you today on how when you see me make my burgers and they're frozen, this is how I usually do it. I can't remember if I've ever made a video on this or not. And then um, later today, I'll be making some uh, Salisbury steak and uh, meatballs. And so this way you'll see um, what I do when I, when I do all this, how this actually works out. I have a little progressive meat um it actually does a very good job at pushing out the meat or the hamburger patties so i'll show you what i do down below yes my hands are clean we're good to go so i have my paper my pan over here with parchment paper and we make a pretty big burger so what i do is i kind of like just press this out a little bit and then i just press now, I suppose you could probably do the same thing if, if you eat turkey burgers or or whatever. I'm not a big fan of um, turkey burgers. I like beef if I'm going to eat meat. So I go ahead and I just put that over there. And then I just go ahead and I continue doing this. Now, that's a little bit too much. I mean, this makes it really nice because what I do, you'll see at the whole video because it's obviously it needs to... Um, flash freeze and everything like that so you'll see how all this works out very nicely and actually be able to uh, have hamburger patties and stuff made up without paying that dollar a piece that the stores want to ask for them um, because I think that's kind of excessive amount of money when it's just that tube meat and I don't even really I mean I'll buy the tube meat um, but I'm not a super big fan of the tube meat. So as you can see, this, this comes out very nicely. And I'm just going to go ahead and keep filling that tray. And then I'm going to be putting this in the freezer and flash freezing this. And um, tomorrow I'll pull it out and I'll show you the rest of the video. So please wait for that and thank you very much. Okay, friends, I am back. It's the next day. And hopefully I have I have my headset on, so hopefully when I turn the cram camera down, you're still going to be able to hear me. I don't know what's up with my phone when I put the camera down. My husband's got to take a look at it, so sorry about the noise fluctuation. I didn't realize it was doing that until it was too late to put on headphones. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it down here. Now, what I have is... Um, 12 hamburgers, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put six in each gallon freezer bag, or, you know, food freezer bag. And these make, like I said, these make really nice sized patties, that's for sure. Okay, I'm going to get another bag real quick. Sometimes the parchment paper will stick. I had to pull those top ones apart a little bit. But this way, no matter how long or short or quickly I eat the burgers, I don't have to worry about them actually um, getting uh, freezer burned. So let me get out the food table. I'll be right back. All right, now what I've done is I've taken this food saver actually off my counter because I'm using that other one that Karen got me um, because I do jars more than I do packages. So this way I can just have this pull out whenever I'm ready. This is going to get a little bit loud. And then what's going to happen is this is going to take all that air out. And this way you know things are not going to get all freeze over. And then what I'll be doing is I will be actually 
putting these in my little package in the freezer that I actually keep my hamburger patties in. So this will work out very nice. Um, you're definitely still going to want to check out the other videos. I have my Salisbury steak and my meatballs. I'll be getting those packed up here um, pretty soon so you can see that video also. So the light went off, so this is all ready to go. All nice and vacuum sealed and ready for the freezer. So it makes it nice <clears throat> when you can get things on sale like that. And you can actually, you know, make things last a little bit longer. So... Um, <clears throat> thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this little quick little video of the things I do because I know, like I said, I know my shopping um, shopping trips are not like a lot of people's shopping trips are, but this, this is the things that I do. So when you see me just um, tossing in burgers or whatever have you, this is the things that I do prior to you seeing that. And then, of course, you know, I have like, um, I have videos out there on my uh, hamburger that I actually put in my Instapots so I can have those pre-frozen too. So let me know if you do this uh, yourself. If you do, do you like it? Um, is it a pain? Let me know in the comments down below. And thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you have a very blessed and wonderful day.